I'm doing another urban exploration. And we are looking for Jim Varney's grave. Ernest P. Whirl. I don't know if y'all remember him from back in the late 80s, early 90s. He did Ernest Goes to Jail and Ernest Goes to School. Ernest Goes to the Army. You know, Ernest P. Whirl. He was a comedian. But anyway, my mother went to school with him um, and said he was a class clown. And they always, I think, have a lot of stuff on his grave. So I just thought maybe it would be neat to come out here and check it out. Um, we're at the Lexington Cemetery. It's actually very beautiful out here. And I think, if I'm correct, I know I'm in the right section, C1. There's a cute little bridge over there. It's so pretty. And I think it's a black headstone. Yep, there it is. Jim Varney. Well, they don't have much around his grave today. Oh, they have some coins and a toy. Somebody left a piece of gum. Some change. Little toy cars. <laughs> Cute. James Albert Jr. June 15th, 1949 to February 10th, 2000. My mom went to school with him. Um, he was a little bit older than her though. She was born in 54. But I think they went to the same high school and she heard that he was the class clown. But uh, yeah, thought it'd be neat just to see it. I think his parents are here, too. Let's see if we can find his parents. Barney. Oh, yes. We have. You know, people don't get famous for no reason. It's, it's really not just because he was a class clown, evidently. Now, was it? Nobody makes it to Hollywood without connections. Barney, James A, 1910 to 1985. Louise H, 1913 to 1994. Well, isn't that something? His parents were Masons, and I'm pretty sure he probably was too. There's something about the, the mass symbol too. It's just, it's creepy. So, there's Ernest. He died young. I think they said he battled cancer. I can't, I can't really remember. But yeah, his, his parents were Masons. That is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I'm going to go down here and take a look at this bridge. I'm not using my tripod, so bear with me. I wonder what this is for, I guess, flowers, flower bed. I think this is just a storm runoff.
But yeah, people used to put a lot of stuff on that grave, like blue jeans. I think his blue jeans were on there for a long time. Just all kinds of little stuff. This place whereon thou now standeth is holy ground. Try to act reverent, 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 oh, I can't even say that. Re reverently, reverently. Let nothing defile it. Cherish the flowers. This is God's acre. What do we have over here? Oh, this is cute. Somebody left painted rocks. Karen Joe Cassidy, June 26, 1970. Oh, about the same age as me. She just died in 21. Well, that's sad. Oh, it's a seashell. Oh, and it says cancer on it. Oh, sorry, lady. This must be from her children. Get a picture of that. You have another Cassidy here. This bench. Another rock on it. Howard T. and Geraldine W. Hasn't Geraldine still with us? This is probably her parents. I wonder what this is over here. It really is a beautiful cemetery. Oh, it's a little pond. How cute. Oh, it's so pretty. We've got lilies in here. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful. Yellow ones over here. Oh, those are so pretty. Just love that. I don't know what's going on here. Looks like we have a water leak. That is just so pretty. in a garden the kiss of the sun for pardon the song of the birds for mirth one is nearest God's heart in a garden than anywhere else on earth Dorothy F.B. Gurney oh that's sweet Oh, wow, I wonder what we have over here. I'm just exploring the cemetery, y'all. And I've never really done that. I don't have any relatives at this cemetery that I know of. Do have a couple of friends probably from way back that I would never be able to find here. this interesting structure is. I just love these little cast iron benches that go around trees. That's so cute. Yeah, this is interesting. What is this? Well, first let's see what this is. Allison Memorial, Lexington Cemetery, in gratitude for the life of Richard F. Allison, General Manager, Lexington Cemetery. Oh, he used to be General Manager. 
and he died in 1973. And they gave him this beautiful stone. I don't know what this is here for, what the purpose of this thing is. I do have some people's names over here. Oh, I bet you, since that was a general manager over there, maybe these were employees. Employees of the cemetery would be my guess. Memorial Arbor. Doesn't really explain. So that's my guess. Alright, we'll go up here and say bye to Ernest and his Masonic parents. And I'm going to sit and do an EVP here. And see what I get. I'm glad I came here. Wow, look at that. Bye, Lily Pond. This is a nice resting place. I'd rather rest in the mountains though, but this is nice too. had something in my pocket I'd leave it for him but I don't have anything on me I guess I could find a rock nah he's probably a mason <laughs> anyway Another urban adventure, y'all. Later.